What's going on, Uncle Force? Welcome back to the Watch It One McQueen Tanner Man. Gas yes, up. Wait, I'm back, man. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today, all right? Oh my God, it's Friday, all right? A lot of y'all are like, thank God. Oh, the weekend. Ah. When you could just learn how to become the best version of yourself. So that way you don't have to sit there and wait for the weekend to come for you to be happy, all right? Because that best version of yourself will allow you to do the things that you've never done, which will yield the results that you've never had, which will bring the money that you've never had, and that money will allow you to be able to live the life you've always wanted to live. But you refuse to do that, okay? Just know that you always have the availability to get one-on-one -on -one coaching from me for the price of an Uber Eats order, but it's not always gonna be that way, okay? So you might as well go ahead and jump in right now because I'm in there changing hundreds of the Aqua Force's lives, and it's a beautiful thing to see. All right, y'all, we got a crazy video today, man, all right? This guy, uh, I think his name is Chris. He's from AMP, and apparently he pulled a prank, uh, and he had a bunch of YouTubers come and perform at a comedy show, and he paid the actors to not laugh at the joke. So we're going to go ahead and see what the hell happened. This is a $30,000 watch on my wrist right now, and I'm going to keep showing it to you every single day because I spent a lot of money on it. So you can either allow me to keep showing it to you every single day and put it in your face, or you can allow me to teach you how to do the same exact thing. You could be also making thousands of dollars and have financial freedom every single month off of social media if you had somebody giving you the right instructions and the right game. For the price of an Uber Eats order, I can do that. And I can give you one-on-one -on -one coaching and give you everything you need to know so you guys can do the same thing and get your own bus down rolls and make so much money that you can invest in whatever you want and live the life that you want. Click the first link in the description. The price is about to go up soon because I'm giving way too much valuable game that I shouldn't be giving you for this low of a price. So click the first link in the description and join my community and I'll give you the best experience ever. Let's get some money. Click the first link in the description. 100K next video, okay? And I'm not missing a week for the rest of the year all right we, we locked in okay look pinky promise we're locked in all right now donnie thinks we're doing a comedy show video all right? he thinks we're just going to an average comedy show and we're about to test our luck with the crowd but little does he know i paid the crowd to laugh at everyone's jokes except for his let me show you how this whole thing started all right I was on the phone with Dami trying to convince him to write material, but he refused. Chat GBT and some of my stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, it has me cooking up a little bit. I would highly recommend you at least. This nigga is getting AI generated jokes. Look, you're gonna be talking for at least five minutes. Improv, improv. Okay, bro. All right, all right. Okay, okay, I'll see you at 8.30. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Hey, make some noise for yourself for coming out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, today we're gonna be a little bit mean today, all right? I have a good friend of mine, his name's Dami. We're gonna make his day a little bit worse, okay? Let me explain the plan, all right? I have three comedians going, four comedians going before him. I want you guys to laugh at every single joke. When he comes on stage, I want you to act like it's the worst day ever, the straightest face. Even, even, if, even if I say the worst joke ever, like, why did the chicken cross the road? I want y'all to give me the best, most emphatic laugh of your life. I he is gonna be the very last person going, okay? So Marlo right here is gonna be the host. He's gonna let us know the order. When I go, y'all especially better laugh, please. But we're gonna have a, a, a real comedian go first, then the rest of us are gonna be ass, but still laugh. <laughs> but um, when the last person comes, we're gonna point him out to you guys. His name is Dami. You know, he's gonna say, and our final person, Dami. Then you guys know not to make any noise, okay? Like, I don't care if he if he says a Dave Chappelle level joke. Keep it quiet, please. Anyway, uh, please enjoy your night, and uh, we'll begin to start with the show very short, shortly. So the moment is here. Dami has just arrived, and here I am. Okay, let's let's, let's get to the damn prank, all right? Come on, man, come on, get a good seat, man. I'm shaking, I'm super. This again is Mark. Start right. Marley's Down South Comedy Jam. Clap it up one time. Yeah! 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 Yeah
You see, this guy is actually funny. Having a real comedian go first was a good play because I wanted to make sure this felt like an actual comedy show. And even though we were paying these people to laugh, I swear he was actually making them laugh genuinely. But you don't look like you're supposed to be saying that right now. This nigga is cooking. Yo, he's cooking right now. He's cooking. It's not that good? Oh, he stole some of my jokes. Okay. <laughs> he stole some of my jokes, bro. He definitely chat GPT the most. Wait, how you know that? Wait, because my shit's on YouTube. Stop, he, he said he's true. No, I'm being dead ass. He stole some of my jokes. The shit is like a little nerve wracking, bro. Like, the thing is just about confidence, I feel like. And I don't, yeah. I don't, have, I don't have, confidence. have confidence. That's all it is, bro. That's what I'm saying. You can be ass. Just be confident in your assness. Yeah. Look, 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 look. That's hey, true. How we doing? How you doing? <laughs> Nah, that's true. A lot of comedians have told me before. Shout out to Teddy Ray, man. Okay. I remember when I first did my first comedy show, man, or I was studying at the Laugh Factory off of Sunset. And, you know, he told me that, you know, just, just remember always that if you say things with a certain amount of confidence, even if it's not funny, if the crowd can feel that you believe it's funny, you believe in your joke, you actually genuinely believe it in your energy and it exudes from your aura that you are confident in this joke, whether it is the funniest joke or not, Pete, they will still laugh, you know? And even if they don't laugh that much, it'll still transition you into the funnier joke of your set. So I always kept that advice with me. You know, a lot of big things for me and my standard plans coming up very, very, very soon. But uh, right now we're just working, you know what I'm saying? We're chopping wood, carrying water, chopping wood, carrying water, but you know, uh, that, uh, that whole comment about saying things confidently, I mean, that just goes with anything in life. You know, but definitely comedy for sure. My dog, DJ Frost. Come on, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. How y'all doing? Y'all good? We got some beautiful black people in here. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, bro. I feel like I'll be blessed, you know what I'm saying? Doing what I do. I just feel like I it sucks. It sucks to say just I'm short as fuck. I feel like <laughs> that's my only thing, bro. I'm like, like, I'm like 23 or 12 year old's body. <laughs> Look at this Only could Dami not believe that Deshae was stealing those jokes, but he couldn't believe that people were laughing at them. I feel like you gotta be confident in, in yeah. inside little things. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I know I got a small dick. Okay? Oh. <laughs> personally, I know I got a small dick, but I do things to like to work around it. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I only fuck in the dark. <laughs> Deshae told some good jokes, he told some bad jokes, but most importantly, the crowd laughed at everything. But my favorite thing is how he ended it. We got the next artist coming up, I mean, uh, next performer coming up. One of the YouTubers, super excited to uh, see him come up on stage, we hit him up. Um, I was nervous, I didn't think it was gonna come through. My boy Davis! If I see a couple having an argument, I got a good point. Why can't I join in? Like, come on. <laughs> Dami is watching me cook right now. He's probably thinking this is super easy, man. I got a question for y'all. What did Rosa Parks say? What? No. <laughs> I mean, look at the face on this man. He can't even believe I'm cooking up this much. When did Davis get this funny? He does not like Rosa Parks. He does not like Rosa Parks. This is my first time doing this. This is my first time doing this. Make some noise. Make some noise. 
but it's my first time doing it, so I'm gonna hit y'all with a few dad jokes, all right? What happens to frogs that are parked illegally? They get towed. They're laughing, dumbass hard is funny. I can't lie. That's super funny. That is funny, bro. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. <laughs> I got one more for you. Hold on, hold on. This is funny, bro. One more, one more. It's funny. Not the jokes, but the fact that he had the crowd laughing at his like these stupid ass jokes. It's, this, this is funny. Are y'all just laughing because I'm funny looking or what? They always tell me growing up, don't buy anything Velcro. Why not? Because it's a ripoff. <laughs> five or six times, okay? That's just because, listen to me, I have so much confidence in my comedic ability, all right? However, right, I do think that if the GOAT, Dave Chappelle, has bombed, then it's only a matter of time before I bomb. I just feel like it's kind of necessary. You know, if I if I go my entire career without doing, cool. But I feel like bombing also isn't a reflection of how funny you are either. Because certain crowds you go perform at, they might not be receptive to your jokes. You know you might open up for another comedian that has a whole different type of fan base, a whole different type of humor. And you're just trying to get your name out there. You're just trying to get your reps in or whatever the case is. And they might not be receptive to your jokes. Okay. So if the go, if those types of people have bombed. You know, I'm not naive to think that I'm incapable of bombing. Matter of fact, a part of me hopes I bomb one day just so I can really learn from it, you know, and really get over that fear of bombing, you know. If I don't, great. But regardless, I think it is a canon event that should happen, just like with anything else, you know, uh, just a failure that I'm not going to say humble you. Like Nipsey said, never let hard time humble us, you know what I'm saying? However, you know, just to, you know, make you understand that everyone goes through it. And just, you know, once you get over it, it's just like, you know, boxing. You get socked in the face a couple times, now the fear's gone, okay? Just like with anything else. I'm not lying, right? Two questions, just happened. So, the light goes yellow, right? I slow down, I just posted it. Um, it turns red, I roll the window down, right? Uh, I see him next to me. Uh, you know, he, he was, you know, he was a, he was a guy. <laughs> And uh, the guy looked at me with 
his eyes open, right? And I said, close it. He said, why close it? I said, well, because you didn't blink the last five minutes. So. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, um, but I'm not done. Hold on. I'm not done. Let me keep going. It's just, I'm warming up. I just got it. You get you everybody 15 minutes, and I've been there for like two. Section, man, all right. Would you guys ever go and do stand up? Would you ever? Do you have the balls? It's a very nerve wracking act to do, you know. However, if you're someone who likes to make people laugh, like myself, it is also the most rewarding feeling ever to have an entire room laughing at something that came from your mind. It's art, truly. Y'all, let me know what you guys think about this in the conversation, man. Make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.